Hey y'all, I'm sorry. Hey guys, sorry. So sorry. Uh, the power went out and I lost Mevo. We're back. Sorry. I, I lost power and then um, I don't know why the Mevo went off because it's 100% charged so it shouldn't have gone off. So so sorry gals glad you're coming back with me that's a bummer it didn't stay one solid video oh such a bummer when that happens I'm just going around here still um, putting in these ribbons um, I hope I hope you all come back it doesn't even look windy or anything outside. I don't even know why I would have lost power. But, um, we are supposed to get some storms later, but it's not storming out now. But thanks for coming back with me. We'll get this to the point where we can put our lady in here, Madam Harley Harlequin. Such a cool name. Such a cool name y'all picked. Thanks, Alexis. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind sharing and liking my page. Thanks, Val. Hey, Tracy. Thanks for coming back. We just lost power for a minute and everything went blop. Completely. Now, the, the ribbon... Oh boy. Some of it was a uh, craft outlet, but not this Harlequin. Well, the spider ribbon here, I got at Joann's last year. Um, these two, I definitely got at uh, craft outlet, but um, this one, I think I got from the um, Etsy. I'll figure it out. If anybody wants to know, um, I'll figure it out and put it in the, uh, I'm intentionally mixing up the ribbons. Oh, am I? Did I mess them up? Oh, girl. Thank you. <laughs> when did I start messing them up? Oh my gosh. Where did I start off? Spider, spider. Sp oh my gosh. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> hey, Helen. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Nope, this one's wrong too. What'd I do? Okay, spider has to be with spider. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. All right. Get with the program, Christelle. Okay. You're awesome for letting me know. I would have been bummed in the, if I would have got much farther and had to like then have redo it all. Okay, I'll fuss with those later. <laughs> Thank you, Helen, very much, sweetheart. Let's see. Okay. Spider with spider, squigglies with harlequin. And you would think when you were putting them down, you would know, but nope. Not a clue did I have. I still get nervous on these lives, even though I've done like 10 of them now or so. It's still, still stressful a little bit. But you all are gracious and good to me, so I appreciate that. Uh, 
But anyway, so I think we're going to barbecue and go over to my daughter's house, my uh, oldest daughter's house. Hey, Amy. Thanks for joining. Hello, hello. Welcome. We are just doing a rail here, and uh, it's a 22-inch rail. Spider, spider. And we're going to be putting the uh, mannequin head in it that I painted last week and that we decorated last Friday. And I'm just, I messed up on my ribbons here, so I'm pulling them all apart. Hey, Sharon. Hello. Thanks for joining us. I messed up my ribbons a little bit, so I'm just going through and trying to fix them. And then we'll try to adhere this, uh, let's see, Madam Harley Harlequin, try to thought I was coming out with something new. I'm glad you caught us too, Amy. All right. Not that many left. The ribbons are cut at 13 inches, um, just to make them a little bit longer because I was afraid with the head being so big you wouldn't be able to see them. So... They're cut at 13 inches. We did 10 to 12 inch poofs. And then we did uh, woodland ruffles in each tie. And I think tomorrow afternoon, maybe, um, I don't know, maybe like around two, um, I'll put out an announcement um, or a thing on my, on my page but I think that about two o'clock tomorrow, I'll try to go on and then I'll paint. Um, I will paint one of my, okay, do y'all see it? I did it again, oh my gosh. Paint one of my Frankensteins. And I'll, I'll show you the Frankensteins and what I've, what I've got going over here. I took Spackle and I built out his eyebrows and his chin and his nose so it was um, you know more like Frankenstein instead of a, a GQ man foam head that I got which is exactly what those foam heads look like. I got the two same side by side. I do? Where? Do I? Well, if I do, I will go back and fix it later. Won't make you sit through it while I have my scatterbrain moments. <laughs> I do just need to breathe, Val. You're absolutely right. Just breathe. Okay. All right, y'all. So we've got, and then I did go down the middle of the rail. So, and this is the end. I'm not sure I'm going to keep this little tail down here, but I always leave it and then I cut it later. All right. Let me, um,. I'll pan out just a little bit more here because we're going to get big here in a second. So let me turn this around to where the top is over here so I'll, I'll work this way. So, whoo, look how big she is. I'm going to put her almost all the way up to the top, I think. So, I'm going to like make a little bit of a hole here to put the back of her head in. And then at that wire, um, I have a wire stuck through her head. And I'm just going to take that wire down to the frame of the rail up here. And I'm going to put that wire around the frame 
and then let me get this side and then I'll turn her over and show you how I'm going to adhere that on there. Yeah, the delay is kind of a bummer. All right. Okay, y'all. All right, I'm going to turn her over. So here I've got the wires. And I'm going to wrap them around this crossbar. I'm going to pull pretty taunt. And I'm going to wrap it around this bar, and then I'm going to go back around that crossbar again. Because I do not want her coming off at all. And she won't. This is 18 gauge wire that I'm using inside here. Um, so there is no coming off. She's not going anywhere. And then we'll just do the same thing here. And... 18 gauge wires, pretty stiff. You know, because the higher in the number, the thicker the wire, or the, how does that work? The lower the number, the thicker the wire. I always remember that because we use a lot of nine wire <laughs> out here on the farm with fences and stuff. So all I did is just wrapped it around however I could. And so this is what the back of our frame looks like. And then we'll turn her back over. Oh my goodness. I think I'm... Okay. I don't know what's going on with the internet tonight, y'all. Sorry. Um, but anyway. So there she is in just plain form. So we don't have anything else in here. We just have her. What do you think so far? wouldn't mind, you know, give me some hearts if you like her, or if you're not liking what we're doing, you know, then give me a frowny face, or a mad face, I guess it's a mad face. <laughs> oh, you don't like it so far? Somebody didn't. Well, I'm sorry, we will add stuff, and then maybe she'll be very, very cool. All right. So, I have... So I'm going to try and do her like this so y'all can see her. So I have this eek sign. So I really like this eek sign. And I think that I want to put it in here some way. But I'm not quite sure how yet. And then I do have some like balls and stuff that we can put in and then some more of the pumpkins. But first, I think we're gonna get this off of here, and then I think we'll put a bow down here at the bottom. So, and maybe I like, maybe just like that. And then I have another equine. Maybe we'll put the equine up here. Hi, Loretta, welcome. Oh, thanks. Hey, Mimi, welcome back. Maybe I'll do a an eek up here and an eek down there. Maybe I'll do two of these eek signs. So, all right. So all you do is you're going to want to cut off all the stuff that they've put on there. And I don't need this wood on there. So I'm actually going to see if I can... Yep, that worked. Cool. Nice. I thought it was going to cut me, but it didn't. All right. So we'll cut that off of there. I think I'm going to like that there because we're going to put another one up here by her head. Thank you, Mimi. Thank you. Hi, Karen. How are you? Oh, thanks, Alexis. You're sweet. You're so sweet to your mama. Um, I also 
have a couple of these we're going to put in there too. Okay, so we need to adhere this first. So we cut off the, the wood and I'm just going to push her aside. And then I'm just going to take my stapler and get myself a couple pieces of wire. And they're not going to have to be very long. And I do believe I am going to need a piece of cardboard. So I use little pieces of cardboard when I think it might go through the wood, my staples. So, and then I'm just going to add a couple of staples. I'm good, it did not go through, so I'll add one more. And then I'm just going to wrap this around here like this. We'll see. I'll do one over here and then we'll see if we need to do any more. I'm hoping not. But we'll see. Oops. So are most of you working from home still or have everybody gone to work? I'm curious. Here in Colorado, people are starting to head back to work, I think. Thanks, Mimi. You're awesome. Okay. I think two might do it. So let me set this over here. Oh, you didn't have a staycation, Jeanette. I'm sorry, sweetie. All right. So I'm going to put it, since the other one's going to go up there, I'm going to actually put this kind of more to this side. So we're just going to adhere it to the frame. So I'm going to stick this right through the mesh down to the frame and then I'm just going to wrap the wire around. Yeah, yeah, I started, well, um, some people, uh, different people do, you know, a lot of different things, but I always have cardboard, you know, from boxes and stuff, and so I just learned to cut off bits of that and use that instead of um, buying felt or anything else to go in there. So I want that over here a little bit. So I'm just pushing that over and then I'm going to grab the wire. And in here and everything is so, so much of a pain. Sometimes you do have to roll it over. I usually don't roll it over, but. And then I'm just wrapping the wire around the frame several times so it does not come, doesn't come off. Oh girl, your things are getting in your face. All right. I think we might move her to the wall, y'all. Wall, y'all. Hey, that rhymes. Might be that there. I think we're going to do this one up here. Let's see. 
right. I do have, oh y'all, I just don't know if I can do her on here. I might have to move her onto the wall. Let me see, hold on. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think we will just work on her over here. And I'll zoom in and try to stay out of your way. And I'm actually gonna move the camera over a little bit. <gasps> Sorry, y'all. But so y'all can see a little better. Is that okay? I'll move my phone over so I can control. Okay. There, now we can see a little bit better. You know how everything's going to go together? And... All right. I'm going to grab a couple of pumpkins and stuff. Set them over here. Hey, Marianne. You stutter. Oh, doing lives and stuff? Yeah. We, I think we all do, for sure. I think I'm going to put that maybe a little smaller. I don't know, bigger or smaller. Almost digging bigger. So I always keep all my wires and stuff that you like take off of things so that I can use them again. Okay, I lost my uh, wire cutters. Oh, down them. Okay, so you know we get these um, pumpkins and stuff, you know, you get them from uh, like, uh, you know, Hobby Lobby or anywhere and stuff and they're styrofoam covered in fabric. And all I do is I figure out how I'm going to put it in there. And then I know on the side I'm going to stick my, my wire in there and then I just put hot glue on it. usually pretty generous with the hot glue and then I just go back into the hole and I just stuck my finger in all that hot glue and then you just wait a second for it to dry I don't have my uh, um, hot glue pot really hot Yeah, and um, do I say that? I do that, dude. I do that a lot, don't I? <laughs> uh, I think a lot of us do. We probably, um, what am I doing? And it's so hard to create, like, on the spot, you know, because you're, sometimes I take a few days to work on a wreath, and then when everybody's watching, you know, it's hard to design. Okay. And I'm just going to dip this stick in my hot glue here. And I just twisted up the, the, um, the tie a little bit so that I could go through the center of the tie. And that, that tie is going to help hold it now. So it's not just uh, being held glued in by the mesh or the ribbon that the actual, you know, the actual tie. So it's not going to come out. Can you hear my end of this? <laughs> oh, you've got, the babies are wanting 
What do the babies want in Alexis? So same thing with this one. I am going to wind my um, tie around it. And then you can manipulate it a little bit more and put it exactly at what angles and stuff you want. Maybe we'll put this one going down here. Because I like them to go kind of diagonally. So I think I'll put that one down there. I'm working on getting a biz buddy who will do my moderating for me. Because my daughter is traveling right now. And so the one that lives with me here still. And uh, so she hasn't been able to help me. And my other daughter that lives here um, was traveling too. Her and my granddaughter um, were traveling. They just got back, I think, yesterday. So, oh, I got glue all over my hands. Okay. There we go. And we will make a big bow to go here on the bottom. Y'all, I got glue everywhere. So I have these, thinking about putting this one, gosh, I hate getting in front of the camera. This one in over here somewhere. If I have a little bit bigger one, let me see if the bigger one will be better. I have polka dot ones too. Yep, we'll do the bigger one. So we'll do this big one. This one's a little harder, but I still have, like I said, this thing. And I'm going to have the pumpkin kind of at this angle. So I'm going to come in from the bottom and make a hole. And then I'm just going to cover my stick with hot glue and then push this back in at the angle I think that I'm going to need. Then we'll just have to wait for that to cool. I should wear a GoPro. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Are you liking it, Lisa? Thank you. So we'll put a pumpkin here. And we'll do a big old bow on the bottom. And we'll elongate it just a little bit. Um, We'll see if I need this in the end or not. We might cut that off. Um, but I don't want to put anything here because the bow is going to cover it up. So that would just kind of be a waste of money, I think. So, but we'll continue up here. Let me see, that's not quite dry, but probably dry enough. I've been learning how to make my own embellishments lately, so I think I'm going to give it a shot and try to uh, start making some of my own embellishments. Sorry y'all, let me get over here. I just want to be able to wrap this, the tie around it so that it'll hold it where I want it. And I got a big glue glob mess on the side. <laughs> I've been uh, tarred and feathered, kind of. Okay. Let me, um, let me go get that sign real quick. It's just right out in the hall here. Hold on just a second. Sorry, 
y'all. And it doesn't say eek. It says beware or boo. So, I want one up there, but what do you think? The boo or beware? Boo or beware? Anybody have any ideas? Boo or beware? I'm leaning towards beware a little bit. And then I think we're going to put... these balls. Oh, you like boo, Jeanette? You like the boo better? Oh, sometimes when they put these stickers on these things, I really don't think that they think ahead on what a pain in the butt is going to be for that poor person who's trying to utilize this decoration but that is going to have to spend 15 minutes trying to get this dang gum sticker off of here. Oh, beware, beware. Jeanette, are you outnumbered? So beware. Do we want to do beware? See, I still need to get all that sticker off there. I'll play with that later. You guys probably can't see it as well as I can. Okay, so I think we're, we'll do beware. That's, that's where I was leaning towards, I think, anyway. So let me see if I can cut this baby and give myself... So this one, we do want part of the stick, so I'm just going to cut it about there. Uh, with my wire cutters, maybe? Because I don't have my... There we go. Mm, I made it too small. Alright. So I'm going to have to make it longer, unless I put it actually in her hair. Nope. Dang it. Hey, Asia. I know, the sticker price tags are awful. I tried to stick it in her head. It's still too, too short. So, I'm going to have to... So, for now, for the sake of time... I am going to glue, but then I'm going to wire this back on. You won't see the end of the stick, and I know better. I should have made it sh longer to begin with. But, just goes to show you, you can, you know, always cut it extra long. Thanks, Asia! This is too long, I know. 
but I won't cut it until I have it at the length I want. There we go. We'll see if that stays. I don't know if that will stay or not. But anyway, all right. Let me get all these out of the way here. And I don't know if I should um, take up your time tonight making the bow to put on there, or if I should show you what I've been doing with the um, I should uh, e there I am or if we should look at Frankenstein so your choice do you want me to make the bow and put it on there and finish her off or do you want to take the time and kind of look at Frankenstein um, a little bit or both Make the bow. Okay, let's make the bow. I'm just going to kind of move this. Y'all, the angle is weird, unless I put it back up here. Oh, good. I'm so sorry for moving you around. What a pain in the butt. What a pain in the butt. <laughs> Oh, both? Okay. Well, if y'all have time, I've got time. I'm home alone. So, my husband had to do a last minute emergency thing at work. So, so we'll do both. I'll do the, um, I'll do the bow real quick. And then we will take a look at Frankenstein. And then tomorrow at about two, I'll paint him. Um, I'll do a live and I'll come on and I'll paint him. Okay. So, this is my... Easy bow maker. So we're going to start off like that. And I'm putting my wire in on the bottom um, at an angle just like that. <clears throat> so that's our wire. So we definitely want, I think I'm going to start off with this. You guys like this one? What's nice. All right, so we're gonna come through, I think about 12 inch tails. Um, no, we don't want 12 inch tails. We'll do like a, t like eight inch tails, I think. Cause we don't want it that long. Well, I'll do more like 10. So this bottom one, I think we'll do four. Um, so you put your ribbon in Oh, it must be nice to be home alone. Well, I'm not exactly home alone. I've got um, three dogs here with me. And uh, so, but I'm home alone just about every day. So, because I work just from home. I think I'm going to make them at about six inches, each one of the loops. So we'll just pull that out to six inches. And then every time you put the ribbon in here, you're going to give a twist. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Jeanette. I hope everything is okay now. Um, so we're just twisting, and the first one, I usually always do four, unless I do a four inch ribbon, and then I do um, sometimes just two. Um, so we'll do four. Yeah, I lost, um, oh good, oh thank goodness, thank goodness, I'm glad to hear that. Um, so I lost my uh, German Shepherd, we had her for about 11 years, I lost her about a month and a half ago, 
Her name was Acadia. And when we lost her, you know, we thought, well, we have one other dog at home. He's a St. Bernard mix who is a lover that is scared of his own shadow. And so, um, and then I think we'll use this bat ribbon. So I haven't been feeling, I've been really missing having a, uh, a dog that's more protective, I guess. Um, oh, Jennifer, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Um, so I signed up, I looked into some puppies, some German Shepherd puppies and stuff, and then I, um, signed up to maybe adopt, um, a German Shepherd, um, or two to have out here on the farm. So I'm waiting to hear back from the adoption agency, I guess, <laughs> I don't know, what do you call it? Um. Place. I had to fill out an application and stuff. So, hey, Asia, if you're still on here, if you get a phone call from them, you, I put you down for a reference. <laughs> you, had to have, you have to have references and stuff, of course, to adopt and everything. But um, I, didn't, I didn't think that I would want to get another one, but I really miss heaven. And I have a, my daughter Adelia's German Shepherd here, but if she ever moves out, he's he's not going to stay here. So I'm looking to be a, a mama again to a, uh, another German shepherd. So if anybody knows of anybody's needs to adopt out a German shepherd, you know, I may be interested. Okay. I like those colors. Those colors are kind of fun. And then I wanted to use the, this, Oh yeah, Asia, I think so. <laughs> yeah, if she ever moves out. I don't care. My kids can live with me as long as they want. <laughs> oh, what a crazy world we're living in right now. So glad I'm healthy. Aren't y'all happy you're healthy? healthy and happy all right so we've got oh boy I'll just do two of these all right and I have not been very good about putting videos on my YouTube channel but I'm working on it I'm trying to get better if I can ever catch up here on the farm and have more time okay so I'm going to use this uh, crazy ribbon here well that's kind of orangey on orangey what do you say what if we introduce like this witchy ribbon here this I always bought at Joann's last year yeah, I think we'll do the witchy next. I really hate how they fold down the edge because you always waste that little bit. You can never get the kink really out of it. Okay. So I think we'll do four of this one. And how I do my bows, I just, I don't really like follow a specific pattern, I guess but I tend to follow kind of the same pattern, you know, of doing like four on the bottom and, and then three and then two and then four of the one and a half inch. I guess I do do that. I'm sitting here thinking I don't follow a pattern, but no, I think most of the time I do. Empty nesting is very hard, isn't it, Mom? Even when your baby girl is 40 celebrated the first anniversary of her 49th birthday. Well, I'm not the baby girl. My sister's the baby girl. But. Okay. We got the witchy going. We got stripes. We have polka dots. And 
Do we want to end with the squigglies? Or shall we end with the spider? What would you guys like to do? Oh my goodness, you got a big family, Danette. That's wonderful. So, squigglies or spider, y'all? Spider, spider. Yeah, because I like the harlequin on there. Don't you guys like the harlequin on there too? Kind of ending in that. All right, let's do it. Let's do the spider. We'll end on that one. And you always want to start on the opposite side. Sorry guys, I didn't give you very good instructions on that, but always start on the opposite side you left off on. And we did four on that last one. And I think we'll end with two in the middle instead of three. So I just think I'll do two instead of doing three. Yeah, <laughs> Jeanette, you got such a big family. That's wonderful, good for you. Lots of love to go around there, huh? Oh, sorry, Mom, your squiggly just came up. I wasn't ignoring you. Sorry. Everything is so delayed. Okay, so that's our bow. So forever, I was like, um, when I started off using the bow maker, I started off doing it correctly by placing my wire in there first and then, um, you know, and then closing it. And somewhere along the way, I don't know when I started, I started taking the stack off and trying to put the wire around it then, and it didn't make sense. And Valerie, I was watching you this last week, and I was like, when you were making your bow, and I was like, that makes so much sense. I was like, wait, that's how you're supposed to do it in the first place. So, um, I made a wreath earlier today for a, a special order, um, and I went back to the way I'm supposed to be doing it and wow things work out so much better when you do it the way you're supposed to so I'm just gonna pull that a little tighter so that my ends are gonna be a little more even and I'm bringing them together squishing down my stack while pulling down at the same time up oh. all right All right, and then I'm putting this wire underneath my stack, pulling it tight. Pulling it tight, and then I'm gonna take it off and twist the bow. Twist, 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 twist. And you're twisting it like a corkscrew going into the bow. All right. All right, now let's get the fluff box. Does everybody know what a fluff box is? Are they three hours away? I've got one granddaughter who's here. My little Addie bug. She lives close to me. And then I've got two more grandbabies. But they're in Guam. They're like one and soon to be three. So cute. And they grow so fast. All right. So I'm just kind of pulling all that so I can separate my tails. Now I'm pulling on it pretty good. And I'm just going to start fluffing this out. Oh, tell you what, Valerie. Having a fluff box is very important. Very important. Because I was, I used to put it on this chair, I used to put it on the step ladder, whatever I could to try and get, um, you know, my bows fluffed out. And it was such a pain. Such a pain. I love my fluff box. It was worth every penny. The pick machine is awesome. Because I've done... Um, um, some weddings and when you're doing florals and stuff for weddings and things like that oh my gosh I tell you what it has 
saved me so much time, so much time. And it's just so easy to use, really operator friendly, you know. Not much I can screw up on it, which is plus for me. So I just f try to get them fluffed out to where, you know, I want them in the positions that I want them. And then I don't spend a lot of time trying to fluff them all out while I'm here with y'all because they just get smushed again when we when we go to add them in later. What do you think? You guys like it? Is it okay? Give me some hearts if you like it. If you like the color scheme and everything. Yay! All right. Somebody doesn't like it. <laughs> I always get at least one. I can never make anybody everybody happy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you never make everybody happy all the time, right? But hopefully at some point or another, I hope I make something that you like. I hope, I hope. Okay, so I just took it off the fluff box here. And let me see if I can, oh y'all. Y'all see me too up close and personal. I have like the worst skin. All right, hold on here. All right, hi Lori. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so we are just going to stick these wires through the middle of this uh, rail until we get it where we want it. And we don't want it completely covering up the eek but just a little bit covering up the ink. Okay. And then all you gotta do is take your wire and wrap it around the frame to get it to, so it's not going to move. And then when we fluff up our bows a little more, they'll become a little shorter. And then I will dovetail all my ends. And I think we might add a couple of skulls. And then I think we're done. may add a skull or two. Like I may put a skull right here. Matter of fact, I will. Just putting a little hot glue on his, the bottom of his head. And then I'm going to set him right here. Push him in a little bit. Because then we've got a couple in at different angles. And then y'all, I think she's probably going to be done. I may do some things to her, you know, of course, like I always do. Try to, try to, uh, after I look at her for a day or so. And then I'll put her out there. What do you think? Yay! And she's pretty long. I'll say she's probably about 36, 38 inches or so. And she's probably about nine and a half inches deep by about uh, 24 inches wide. So I think that that's, she's a pretty big girl. Okay, let me, 
Widen this up. There you go. Thanks, Jeanette. Thanks, Sharon. Thank you. I just need to learn how to spell her name. Oh. <laughs> oh no worries. Okay, so I'm gonna get out my uh, um my Frankenstein's and let me show you. Um, I'm gonna zoom back in. Thank you, Helen. Thank you. Um, TK, you're awesome. Thank you. I'm gonna zoom back in here a little bit so I can show you these Frankensteins. So this is one Frankenstein that I've been working on. I don't know if you can see how I've altered him. And I wish that I had one that I didn't alter so I could show you the difference, but I don't. But if you can see here, I built up his eyebrow. So I built up his eyebrow so it wasn't you know, so it looked more Frankenstein-like. So, and then I built up his chin also to where it looks kind of more square. And then all I did was I cut some dowels here and I put, I, I hot glued them in just a little bit. They're only two inches long or so. And then I took spackle also and kind of built those out like that. So that's one, and then this is the other guy. So his forehead comes up just a little bit more, and all I did was totally, I just used spackle, and I piled spackle on in layers to get the effect that I wanted, and then I widened his nose. I don't know if you can see that. Can you tell I widened his nose? And then I left it all rough. I just thought, you know, it'll be like, you know, skin that was like pulled over something. It's not going to be perfect. So, so yeah. And I'm going to paint them tomorrow. So that I can on probably Friday, maybe I'll do um, the Queen of Hearts. So maybe on Friday's live we'll do the Queen of Hearts. Um, maybe I'll get her painted so that we can decorate her on Friday. So, um, just use spackle. I'll show you the, I just went to like Home Depot, or actually I think I went to Lowe's. And um, so I just got this stuff here, this spackle. And it's really, really light. Um, and so all I did was I took my finger and got globules, you know, and then I'll do it on this one. So wherever I thought I needed to put it, I just dropped the glob on there, and then I just kind of put it on and then pulled out the sides, kind of like that. And I just did that in layers. And then if you let it dry a little bit and you push on it, then you can take off the rough edges. But, so that's, that's how I did, really. So I just grabbed globs, put it on, pulled out the edges. And then as it's drying, you just kind of use the palm of your hand or whatever and flatten it so it doesn't have such rough edges. So as it dries, you can kind of pat it and stuff. So that's how I did it. I just used spackle that's quick drying spackle and um, yeah, so oh, well thanks Mimi, I'm glad you rewatch. Um, but tomorrow I think I'll try to do it at about 2 o'clock and um, what I'll do first is I'm going to paint um, all of him in uh, either Mod Podge or glue. I won't use clear glue because the clear glue makes it crackly finish like Sally the Scarecrow was. So for him, I think we'll just use the white glue so that we get not a crackly finish. So 
and we'll make them green. And uh, I don't know, um, oh yeah, yeah, you totally could, you totally could. I wanted the, um, I kind of wanted the like little bits in there to look like skin that had been decayed skin and then it was kind of stretched back over. But we'll see if it turns out, I don't know, it might not turn out. Um, you know how that goes. <laughs> But somebody, um, and I don't remember, was it Lisa, baby, told me about, because, you know, uh, she has one of her eyes covered, and so does Sally the Scarecrow, and she has it covered because I couldn't do the two eyes and the two eyebrows the same. And uh, so someone told me, I think it was uh, maybe Lisa, that you could go and get eyebrows, stencils. So I did, I went to Ulta and I got these from like the Anas, Anas, Anastasia, Anasti, Anas, Anastasia, <laughs> my oldest daughter's name's Anastasia. So I've got these different eyebrows that are different kind of styles and stuff. I don't know if you can really see them. Some are thinner than others, but now I have stencils. So now I can make the eyebrows the same and I can get the size of the eyes. And then I got some eyelashes that we'll put on our Queen of Hearts. We're not putting them on Frankenstein, of course, but we'll put them on the Queen of Hearts. So thanks for the tip. And I think it was Lisa, but I'm not sure. Hi, Rhonda. Thanks for popping in. You're getting us towards the end. I'll show you what we created. Um, I'll open up my picture a little bit here. So we created this tonight. We uh, did the face last Friday and um, then we put the rail and everything together tonight. So that's what we did tonight. So thanks Rhonda for uh, popping in. So any other questions? or anything on um, anything we did tonight. Um, if I missed any of your questions, I always go back through and I read through all of them and I try to answer everybody's questions and I try to make sure everybody uh, feels welcome and everything. So, um, Lisa, hey, was it you who told me about the, the eyebrows, stencils? Thanks, Jeanette, I'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Thank you so much. All right, so I'll see maybe some of you tomorrow about 2 in the afternoon. We'll see if I can make that time frame work. Um, but then I'll paint Frankensteins, and then we'll figure out where, where to put Frankensteins. And I'm thinking about um, giving one of the Frankensteins away. So I may give one of these guys out. Um, to one of you that are watching one day this week. So if you're interested in maybe winning a Frankenstein, tune in, <laughs> as they say, right? But anyway, thank you all. I love you. I hope you all have a good evening and stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for popping in. Bye.